All right, we're getting close. Now let's talk about the closing. Um, as you're closing the years, you should definitely stay in touch with myself, your lender, and your title company. So avoid lowering your credit score the entire truck of the way. Um, from A to Z, you don't want to apply for new credit. Um, you wanna make sure and make all your payments on time if you do have any existing payments. And just don't go out and buy anything extravagant prior to closing and funding. So don't go buy new furniture, don't go buy new appliances. You can do that after you've closed and funded and have the keys to your new home. Um, we wanna confirm that your contract contingencies are resolved. So home inspection, appraisal, financing, any other contingencies, if you have a contingency to sell, et cetera. Um, we can talk about that more in person. We wanna finalize your homeowner's insurance policy. So we wanna make sure you have insurance ready um, and paid for and bound. Um, gather your down payment and closing cost funds in an accessible account and review your closing disclosure form. You will receive this usually three days before the settlement or more and ask any questions if you don't understand something. Um, arrange a wire transfer or get a cashier's check for the funds. Most title companies will require a wire transfer. So if we need to talk to your bank prior to that to make sure everything's ready to roll, let's do that. Um, you're gonna need that to settle um, at the closing table. Schedule a walkthrough of your new home, ideally at least 24 hours before your closing to check its condition. Um, and then what can you expect at the closing? In a word, paperwork. A lot, give yourself a few hours. It usually doesn't take more than an hour, but just mark off three hours just in case um, for your closing and bring the following items to your closing. Bring a government issued photo ID, license if you have it, current, um, proof of homeowner's insurance. Um, you can bring your copy of the contract if you'd like, and then all the paperwork associated with your loan and this home purchase. Um, your wire transfer confirmation and your checkbook for any miscellaneous funds that maybe weren't included on your closing statement for some random reason, just as a backup plan. That shouldn't occur, but. Um, what paperwork is required to close? You will be signing numerous documents, including a repeat of the documents you signed when you applied for your loan. So the most important documents you'll sign are the promissory, promissory note to repay the mortgage, the deed of trust, which gives the lender the right to foreclose if you don't repay the loan, and then an initial escrow disclosure, which outlines the funds on the deposit for your property taxes and homeowner's insurance bills. What's next? After closing, you wanna keep all your signed documents in a safe place, update your address, change the locks and security codes on your home, and review your due dates and your new budget. Congratulations, now you've got keys to your new home. Stay in touch, let me know if you have future um, recommendations um, and service needs. I've got connections with anybody and everybody you're gonna need, um, and then some. So. Handyman, AC, plumber, painter, landscaping, pool boy, pool girl, um, resurfacing, retile pools, pretty much anything you can think of. Um, Andrew Pepper, Keller Williams Realty Select, 941-400-8227. I look forward to helping you on this journey. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know now through the process, anytime. Look forward to talking to you. Have a great day.